What's up gamers? So today we're going to dive deep into one of the biggest updates in Diablo for the introduction of the Spiritborn class. This class is not just another addition to the game, it might actually change how RPGs approach character classes moving forward. So if you're a fan of Diablo or RPGs in general, buckle up because this could be the future of the genre. Let's start by looking at why this class is such a game changer. For decades, RPG classes have followed a predictable formula. You've got your warrior, mage, rogue, and so on. These classes usually lock you into one playstyle, whether it's casting spells, dealing physical damage, or healing. You pick your role and that's it. But in recent years, games like Dragon's Dogma 2 and Destiny 2 have been pushing the boundaries by offering more flexible, customizable classes. And now Diablo 4 has taken this evolution a step further with the Spiritborn class. So what makes Spiritborn different? This class lets you mix and match skills from four distinct Spirit Guardians, creating dozens of possible combinations. Whether you want to focus on survival, high damage output, or even a blend of both, you can build the class to fit your playstyle. This flexibility is a huge shift for Diablo, a series known for more rigid class structures in the past. But the Spiritborn isn't just about flexibility. It's a signal that Blizzard might be moving towards a more modern RPG design, where hybrid classes are the norm, not the exception. You're no longer boxed into a specific role. Instead, you're given the tools to create a character that's entirely your own, one that can adapt to different situations as you play. This kind of freedom is becoming more common in RPGs, but Diablo 4 is pushing it even further with Spiritborn's customizable nature. Now, let's compare the Spiritborn to the other classes in Diablo. Traditionally, in Diablo, classes are designed with a clear role in mind. The Barbarian is your go-to for brute force, the Sorcerer for magic, the Rogue for stealth. But the Spiritborn shatters those expectations. By pulling skills from multiple sources, you can create a character that's just as effective at dealing damage as they are at staying alive. This kind of versatility isn't just fun, it could fundamentally change how we think about character progression in RPGs. So what does this mean for the future of RPGs? Well, if Diablo 4 and other recent games like Destiny 2 and Dragon's Dogma are any indication, we could be moving towards a world where RPG classes are more fluid and player-driven. Instead of picking a class and sticking to its limitations, you'll have the freedom to build your ideal character from the ground up, choosing the skills and abilities that suit your playstyle best. This trend toward hybrid classes is something we're seeing more and more across the RPG genre and it's likely that other developers will follow Blizzard's lead. The days of being stuck in a rigid class system might be behind us and the Spiritborn is a perfect example of how games can evolve to meet players' desires for customization and freedom. To wrap things up, the Spiritborn class in Diablo 4 isn't just an exciting new addition. It's part of a larger trend in RPGs that's giving players more control than ever over how they play. If you haven't tried it yet, this could be the perfect time to jump back into Diablo 4 and experience what might be the future of RPG character classes. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Spiritborn? Do you like the idea of more customizable RPG classes or do you prefer the classic more defined roles? Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into gaming news and I'll see you in the next video.